the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to some more episodes of naruto shippuden and before i get into this reaction make sure y'all look at the links down below you can find my patreon where i am 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available you can find my discord come on in and join our little community you know what i'm saying also uh, check out my live streams Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST on this channel right here. Um, I be playing games, you know what I'm saying? Uh, long seven, eight hour streams of just gaming, hanging out, chilling, very uh, super cool vibe. So come hang out during the weekends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, come say something random in the chat so I can say hello. Um, anyway, so last couple episodes um what do we see we saw kaguya being op like she is known to be and she created um or she has this jutsu that seems stronger than the truth seeker orbs where anything that these that her jutsu touches turns to ash pretty fucking strong and uh, she used this combined with her dimension changing jutsu she she changed dimensions to this freaking gravity space uh where it seems to be more than like at least 50 times gravity you know what i mean it's very reminiscent of the dragon ball z days you know what i'm saying um also sasuke has been retrieved thanks to obito and sakura but we are here and well obito and kakashi jumped in front of these uh, op um, jutsu ash things that Kaguya is creating and well it looks like Obito's about to die which sucks because I know he's been the bad guy for the most part but I did grow to like him and I did feel sorry for his story Rin's story Kakashi's story their whole thing was fucked up it was hell you know he wasn't lying when he said I'm in hell when he fucking went crazy on those dudes oh my god amazing scene uh but yeah so I guess now we're gonna hear his final words. Um, and hey, hey, there is one positive thing about all this, you know? Um, well, I guess a, a few positive things. One, he saved Kakashi's life by kamuing the other jutsu. Two, he saved Naruto's life by jumping in front of the jutsu. Three, and this is probably the most prominent one of all, he could be with Rin in the afterlife. The woman of his fucking, or I shouldn't say, she never became a woman. The girl of his dreams. You know what I'm saying? He, he loved her. He still loves her. Thirty fucking years later, or whatever the hell they are, that they are, they are now, and he can finally be with her. So, you know, that's what it is. R.I.P. Obito. Let's hear what his final words are. This is Naruto Shippuden, episodes 272 and 273. Like and subscribe. The Akatsuki is definitely one of the best bad guy groups ever created. You know, the Akatsuki, you got the Espada, you know what I'm saying? Those two groups in anime definitely stand out. They're really good villains. All right, let's all just hang out. Let's all just chill. This is the flashback part of the episode. At this point, I know it's coming. So I'm just gonna be quiet, let it happen and uh, hang out with them. Okay, good. I thought I was gonna show the whole fucking war. Oh! Bro, Sasuke's Rinnegan Jutsu is fucking cool. Does that make him faster than Minato? Nah, Minato could travel longer distances, but Minato also needed a dagger. Sasuke doesn't need anything. He could just do it. 
平和な世とは程遠いそんなものを俺が必ず終わらせてやるおいお前らだけじゃない俺たちもいることを忘れるなよああそうだな This is alternate universe Obito? Yeah it is Dude He would have been a beast He is a beast now He would have been so much help to the fucking Konoha <laughs> Oh, wow. In the alternate, alternate universe, he became Okage. Oh, man. That's actually sick. Damn. What? 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 It suits him. It looked good on him. Oh, they even have his Sharingan? And Uchiha becoming the Okage. Now that's beautiful stuff. Knowing how the Uchiha were treated. You know, oppressed and stuff like that. At Konoha. So that's pretty wholesome how he, be he became Okage in the alternate universe. Hey. He can finally be with Rin. Finally. You know what I'm saying? GG, Obito. He became a real one. You know? He became a real one. And he was strong as fuck, too, boy. Jubito? Strong as fuck. Ah, oh, damn. What a way to go out. Just turn into ash and dust. Stone. Rocks. Ugh. That's awful. But he helped a lot. So, GG Obito. Okay. Let's go, Sasuke. 1v1 in Kaguya. Black Zetsu talks mad shit, bro. <laughs> Naruto, お前もこれ以上歯向かってると崩れて灰になった哀れで惨めなそいつと同じになるんだ。小影になろうとした帯とは俺には。なる。おお。What <laughs> Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Sag. <sighs> yeah. Sag. Spam Sag in the comments. Um. Damn. That made me sad. That made me sad. It made me more sad because just the fact that him dying is sad, obviously. You know? Him dying for the, the, the greater good is, is very sad, but very noble. And whatever, whatever. But I'm most sad because it's gonna sound strange. I'm sad in a good way. In that all he really wanted was Rin. Right? You know, anyone could say what they want about Obito's motivations and whatever, what whatnot. But the core of everything he did in his life was Rin. That's the truth. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, as long as it's the right girl. And Rin seemed cool, right? So the fact that he's finally gonna see her again in the afterlife, if this universe has one, um. And that's beautiful. That's amazing. I fuck with it. And that's why I'm sad. In that in that kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So GG, Obuto, RIP. He was one of the realists, man. He was an asshole most of the time, but he became one of the realists. He really did. And he helped us a lot. Um so GG. 
Let's go and move on to the next episode. Wait, what? What the hell is happening right now? What? You could just do that to someone in the afterlife? <laughs> oh my god. This is cool. I like this that th this is happening. But sometimes I wish they would explain it a bit more. Because it's not making any sense how he's able to do this. And this is the first time we're seeing it in the show, right? But I do like how this is happening. Well, Tsunade is still alive, though. So. <laughs> <gasps> oh shit! Wait, he gave him a Sharingan? He said it's only temporary though, but fuck. That's still really good. Okay. Apparently he can do that in the afterlife. <laughs> good shit, Obito. That's Obito's last act as a person? Hey man, that's a fucking great act. Now Kakashi can actually help, maybe. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, wow, that's damage. Good shit. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> wait. Is that? Is that? I gotta see it before I say it. Ooh, Kakashi Susano. I like the color. What color is that? A little sky blue? Ooh. Okay. 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 That's cool. That's cool. Kamui Shuriken? That's sick. The Shurikens have the power of Kamui in them? Damn. That's dope. Oh shit. Oh shit. All nature's that big? Fuck. Damn. The actual Squad 7. Full effect against the final boss. That's great. How it all started, huh? Ended how we started? I do like that. Oh! Oh yeah! He has the fucking... He has Obito's ability, of course! Wait, what move is that? Kamui Lightning Blade? What? Holy shit, Kakashi with the upgrade! I love it. Kakashi Kamui? Ooh, okay. Now we need a Sasuke. Coming hot with the Rinnegan? Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh shit! That's so sick! We might actually do it. No. Oh! Sakara? Oh shit! Sakura with the dome hit! See, that's what I'm talking about. That's OG Naruto right there. Strategy. Tactics, planning, not just otherworldly jutsus, man. That's what I like to see. And I love how they did that against the final boss. That's good. 
Not some big ass jutsu. Straight up strategy. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's the Naruto I know and love. Yeah! Thumbnail. Easy thumbnail right there. Dude. That's what's up, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. That's what's up. So, by combining Sasuke and Naruto's Sun and Moon, they seal her, right? So the fight's over? I think that's it. That's a GG. That seems like a GG kind of ending right there for a final boss. Well fucking done. Even you, Sakura, coming in with a dome punch. <laughs> yes. But Kakashi, though, coming in with the freaking... What kind of... What, co what color blue is that? Hold on, let me fucking... What kind of blue is that? He came in with the freaking deep sky blue colored Susanoo. Perfect Susanoo. With the Kamui shuriken and the Kamui lightning blade oh my god that looks so fucking cool <laughs> good shit good shit and he kamui the freaking the ash jutsu when it was about to hit naruto dude straight up that's what i fell in love with naruto for the strategy the tactics combining the, the teamwork combining all that shit to win the fight that's why some of my, that, that's why Shikamaru is one of my favorite characters. He wins fights through, through straight up thinking. You know what I'm saying? You know, the freaking um, huge Rasengans and the, the big ass Susano is very, very cool and all, you know, and can definitely destroy a world. But sometimes it's, uh, it's an okay thing to go back to basics. And that's how we beat the final boss. Straight up. Even freaking Sakura landed a Taijutsu hit. <laughs> Well done. Well done. Okay. Um, GG. The good guys win. Look at that. Well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. <laughs> you know, um, there is a way. I mean, Black Zetsu is still alive, and he's. I mean, he he he's. If we if technically he's the real bad guy, because he's been here since Kaguya got sealed. He's been alive, plotting, scheming. Uh, influencing Indra, Ashura, reincarnates, whatever the hell, right? He's been forming this history slowly but surely. So realistically, he's the real antagonist here. Actually, he definitely is, now that I think about it, because he's been here the longest. He's been doing the most. Kage just showed up. Madara just showed up. Black Zetsu has been here behind the scenes, fucking causing a muck, you know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, doing some shady shit. Um, so he's still alive, but uh, if if the if the seal of Naruto Naruto and Sasuke works, then that's it for her. That's it for Kaguya, man. Unless Black Zetsu could do something about it, that's it. But I think we got to deal with Black Zetsu now. I mean, leaving someone like that alive is dangerous. We saw what he can do in a freaking five hundred year, thousand year span. You know, he's here for the long con. I'm sure he'll do it again if he has a chance. So, yeah. Um, but hey, great ending. Ending, hopefully to a final boss fight that was very fitting loved it loved how everyone worked together loved how they all got their power-ups except for sakura but she didn't need one um loved it and again r.i.p to obito um, but at least he can finally be with rin in the afterlife and they can enjoy the afterlife together just hang out you know what i'm saying yeah very good very good all right well that's going to be it for these uh naruto shibunin episodes um I guess we're going to see what the aftermath now is. And yeah. Also, what the fuck is Hagoromo? Like, there, there's got to be a reason for Hagoromo appearing there, right? Um, he doesn't give me that hostile vibe, so I think he's there to help. But we, ju we just beat the final boss, so everything should be all good, right? There must be a reason why Hagoromo's there. I guess we'll see. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, though, make sure you guys look at the links down below. You can find my Patreon, where I'm 10 episodes ahead with the full reactions available. Um, you can find my Discord. Come on in and join our little community. And last but not least, come check out my live streams. Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST 
on this channel right here what am i doing i'm playing all types of games super fun super chill long seven eight hour streams of just hanging out throughout the day chilling with the chat you know what i'm saying so come check that just come check out my live streams they're very chill um other than that y'all have a good one i'm out of here and i will see y'all for the next episodes of naruto shippuden all right peace